reached a, a point where we'd like to give something back to the community and we sort of scratched our heads for a bit and thought okay well why don't we offer to build somebody's smile back or fix their teeth for free. Getting somebody to nominate one of their loved ones was probably the best way about it. So I thought about three people that apply and we had nearly 200. We had so many different stories from different people that we basically spent most lunch times crying over these stories that came in. It was a team team approach and, and everybody put their bit in and, and Matt came out as, um, as, the, as the winner. You know we did six people yeah. for, the, for the finalists. Yeah. Uh, the most disappointing element of it is obviously we've got to let some people down yeah, absolutely. and people know. So that's not going to be you because you have one. Really? His actual treatment, from my perspective, I'm really excited <laughs> from a dental perspective because it is fixing his mouth is going to be very complicated. He's got lots of tooth wear, he's got missing teeth, he's got um, a plated jaw. So we're going to use a lot of the principles I've learned over time, mainly based around the Dawson uh, occlusion knowledge that I have and, uh, and put that forward um, in, through his treatment. So I think everybody's a winner in, the, in this basis and the team is really excited about looking after Matt through the process. I'm around the public quite a lot. I do a lot of public speaking. You have to show confidence, but it's not a 100%. So you're always conscious that you need to hide your teeth. Or if there's a big laugh in a room, you... <laughs> the amount of children I get come and point up to that tooth going, what's that? And it's, it does knock you. I'm Sports and Development Officer at Plymouth Argyle. We want to really give something to the community, get people active, inspire them to get into sport and inspire them to become healthy. The, the amount of children that we see, they are they're just they're shells. So just being able to smile and have a laugh with the children, it's, it's, going to, it's going to be worth a million smiles for me, it really is. He always says to me how he wants to smile properly, so, and I can't think of anyone else better to have won that competition, really. I think he'll love it, be more confident, give him that kick that he needs to come out of his shell a little bit more. From, I'd say about 15, I had massive addiction problems and finding myself 10 years later addicted to heroin, pretty bad. But eventually there's got to be a rock bottom point and there was, we lost the house. Um, I lost my job, I was in quite a high paid job. Um, so that was your rock bottom moment and I went and found help by myself. It was a long process, but it's been 12 years clean now. Obviously, when you're a drug addict, all you think about is drugs. And unfortunately, as you can see, the teeth are taking the, the most neglect. Everything else, my mental health, my physical health is pretty, pretty good from what I went through. I mean, I, I can't look into Mark's mind, but I think he's on the same track of if I can just give one person a smile back and give them a life again. I was going to cry then, but I won't, Callum. Mm -hmm.